Hi, we're Conan and Catherine, and we own and operate a vintage camper photo booth out of a 1961 Aljo with our business, Lamp House Photo Company. When our busy season of events got put on hold, we decided to make the most out of our time at home and get to work on our next project, a 1968 Playmore 140, taking it all the way down to the frame and rebuilding it. And now it's a camper again? You gotta be kidding me. With the help of Catherine's parents, Connie and Dave, and our project manager, Simon, we're taking vintage trailer trash and turning it into treasure one project at a time. Thanks for following along, and if you haven't yet, be sure to like and subscribe. Welcome back everybody. If you were following along last week, you know that we took the week to talk about our business and to offer a uh, pretty neat giveaway. And the results of that will be at the end of this video. So stick around for that to find out if you uh, participated, if you've won or not. But the big thing this week is we're gonna clean up our windows. We are going to take this and we're gonna make it look like this. So yeah, we're gonna go through the process of taking this all apart, taking the glass out, taking the actuator out, and replacing the seals. Okay, so the first thing we really have to do is to um, take it apart. These are actually really simple to take apart and they go back together really simple as well. So what I start with is removing the two windows and then taking the sides apart. So to take the window out, there are two screws on either side that disconnect it from the actuator arm. Just spider webs everywhere. Gross. Okay, so once you get those screws out, it just lifts off of those arms. And you may or may not want to mark that so you know which one. Um, I've got a sticker on the top windows on these so I know which one's which. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, there was a spider there. I'm not afraid of spiders, but when they move suddenly. Ah! Ah! Woo. It tells me that clip's going to make it in there. Comes out the same way. Now for this next part, I'm going to take the bottom off. And on the bottom, screw here, screw here, screw here, and screw here. And it should just pop right off. In, it should just pop off. And then to take this actuator apart, um, this side should just slip right off. There we go. Now on the other side, you've got to actually unscrew the actuator mechanism. Okay, so. These side pieces have little seals in them that you can now remove once you have everything apart. So you just use your fingers. There we go. Uh, there's no seal on your bottom part. There is a seal on the top part that seals the top of the window. And it seems like these slide out pretty easily. Let's clean up the frame first and then we'll come back to those windows. Take your steel wool. I mean, you can see it's pretty, pretty bright, shiny already. So we just do the same on the rest. Okay, so with the window frame all nice and shined up, 
uh, we need to get the glass out of the little window pane and uh, clean that up. We're going to cut them open using our Dremel tool. The place that I bought uh, my gaskets from, VintageTrailerGaskets.com recommends doing it this way. Uh, they say if you use a screwdriver to pry them open, uh, you'll just deform the rail and cause problems. So this is how we're going to do it. all those screws out, should pry apart pretty easily, relatively easily. There we go, Press the side off. So with that apart, just brighten them up like you did the rest of it. Take that seal off that window so that you can put on a new one. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, so with um, the channels all cleaned out, nice and shiny, uh, we can go ahead and take our pane of glass and we can wrap the seal around it. Now the thing to be very aware of, and a thing that I screwed up twice on the first window that I did, is that um, the seal has a start and a stop, and you want that a uh, little gap where it starts and stops at the top so that water as it runs down the window it doesn't find that little hole and leak into the window frame. I'm going to start with it at the top. Uh, every one of these I've seen has been torn into the corner which I think is okay. I mean it's undoubtedly going to happen. You've got a sharp piece of glass there and I think it'll be okay because that's not really where you're trying to seal. You're trying to stop the water before it gets there. And you want to keep it pretty flush to the end. What I found out works best is to start at the top or the bottom. So I take my hand soap, squirt it on there, get a nice coat of it. So just kind of make it even. And then you gotta sort of... I really screwed that one up. I managed to crack it while I was doing that. It's just disappointing to get so close to being done with it and then well, anyway we've got another pane to do on this window so time to uh, take this one apart and clean it up
All right, so I think that's where we're going to stop for the day. Uh, feel pretty good about those windows. Uh, need to clean up that one for the door so this side looks nice and finished and uh, uh, then kind of move on from there. Uh, anyway, we still have the drawing to do. That'll be coming up in just a minute. And um, let me take some B-roll of this. Okay, so we're gonna pick the winner of our photo booth giveaway. As a reminder, that's for a three hour rental within 100 miles of Wichita in 2021. Um, so, let's do it right here, record it. And pick a winner. Sierra, oh, I'm gonna mispronounce this. Sierra Peichel? Ah, oh, for our teacher appreciation event next year. Well, that sounds like fun. Oh, all right, cool. So, all right, see you there. Let's see if I can, there we go. Okay, so congratulations, Sierra. And uh, thanks for everyone that participated. And uh, for those of you that are either weren't close enough or didn't happen to be the lucky winner, we do have some additional giveaways. These nice stickers, they're good to go on your car window or water bottle or whatever you want to put them on. Uh, just leave a comment below and we'll get in touch and find out where to send them. All right, so thanks for following along. And uh, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe and we'll see you next Sunday.